So for ultimate team of the season, we've got a different grind. Now, we have a choice to make and it will be dependent on how well this goes today. So we are going to show you, or at least I'm going to show you, there's no we in this, I'm going to show you an 82 plus major league upgrade double. Or you've got the player picks. Now, both of them normally are pretty good. So obviously with the player picks, it is eight cards, two rares, and it's just got to be gold. With the 82 double major, it is six cards, four rare, and the rest have to be gold. So it's two commons, four rares. So it's the difference between six commons and two rares, and then also four rares and two commons. Other than that, we've got just our normal upgrades. There's nothing crazy going on. We have got the live guarantee that we need to do again. So the daily golds is going to be the first place to go. But is it worth it? That That's going to be the big one because 82 player picks were decent. They weren't necessarily through the roof crazy banger every single time, but they were decent enough. So we've built 27 of them apparently, just a random number. We've gone until we basically had no fodder left. I want to see is... How long does it take me to get a team of the season? Because the big thing that we've got is the fact that we don't actually get any of the mixed, I want to say. So, like, if you go into footbin right now, obviously with this, we're missing out Messi. Oh, no, we've got them all here. Even better. So, we would miss out Mares. Out of field would miss out. Uh, we get Ferguson. I'm assuming... E-figs, includes E-figs from the Premier League, Liga and Serie A, Bundesliga and La Liga. So maybe we don't get in the Women's League either. I'm I'm assuming that would be right. So that is very odd in general. It's a shame that they're not doing both. But So that means we basically miss out on Koulibaly as well. Di Maria, Stanway, Dabina. Uh, we get Liao. Hemp we don't get. Chawinga we don't get. James we don't get. Uh, bon Matty, I'm assuming Pooty Ellis is somewhere, they might be in the moments, and everybody else we do get from the team, so it is literally for the main team, so if you get a blue in this, you're either looking at a Ferguson, oh nice, nice double there, you're looking at a Ferguson, you're looking at maybe a Musiala, he's only 600k now, which is just crazy in itself, or you're potentially looking at who else is really cheap. Grimaldo's only 480 to be fair to him. I'd absolutely take him. Um, oh, and Golovin, of course, 34,000. So if you see Russian pop up straight away, you know that, unfortunately, you've been absolutely duped. So let's see if 27 is enough. And I'm hoping at the minimum, it's just good fodder. And so far, Neuer and Modric, I'll absolutely take as fodder choices. We have absolutely depleted the club. So the main thing for this is, if it doesn't get me a team of the season, it should at least give me a chance at doing the 84 times 7. And I think think that's it because we haven't had the other one i think we've still got the 83 times seven for the Serie A, which is still useful because we can still get liao we can still get martinez so it's just a, a low chance at somebody so this is where it's kind of the debate between is it better for the player picks or is it better for the upgrade because at least with the player picks you can still get all of them and i think it's the mixed we can still get mixed five in this i want to say so I, th I think anyway, I'm probably wrong. I know Kulabali you can get. And I think I got, who did I get? I got somebody else that maybe was in the mix, but might have just been a different one that I thought of. I can't remember who it was now. Oh, I got Dabina, in fact. So yeah, so maybe it is the ultimate mix now already. Um, so it'll be interesting nonetheless. I'm just hoping this is going to be semi worth it. I think with the double back, at least then if say you were trying to just use all duplicates, you're already getting two back. And if you don't get anybody that's worth it, say you get two eighty threes like that, you could just go ahead and put them back in. So you've only got to get four cards, two rare, two common. So that is the better reset sort of thing. I knew they'd give me another Modric. We'll just discard him for the moment because I just want to fly through these. Um, obviously, going to be putting him into something else if you haven't. Um, but we want to. I just want to see if we can get anything. We're already through 10 of them. We've got 387 so far, and that's about it. We know that we can't really get any decent walkouts out of this. Like You can get a few nice ones, but predominantly every walkout in the game is currently in Team of the Season. So we're going to need... To at least get a team of the season in this. I'm kind of hoping as well. I think Neymar's back in. But I've not seen any moments yet. So I don't know if they're coming back Sunday. Or if, if they are back and I've just not seen. Say Footbin's website just doesn't show them. Um, yeah, because it doesn't even put any popular on there either. So be interesting nonetheless. Hopefully... 
a team of the season should pop. That's going to be, is that Sabozali? No, oh, it's going to be Auburn. How many have we got left? I feel like this will be quite difficult, especially. Like, we know how much the ultimate is. Um, I'd be surprised if we even get anybody. Do we even have a goalkeeper in ultimate? Because that, yeah, I don't even think... Well, we definitely don't have Koble. I can't see any goalkeeper in this ultimate, which is just bizarre in itself. I know they're not necessarily the ultimate team of the season, but you surely got to have at least a goalkeeper. Give us one that we can actually get, because otherwise these majors are going to be very difficult. They will literally be a Golovin turnover, and that's about it. So we are getting towards the end of these, and to be honest, I feel like I'd probably just keep with the player picks. At least you probably get less duplicates at times, but you do give in a little bit more. If they want to change my mind and give me a team of the season, then maybe. But I do think when it comes to this grind, it depends on how much you really want one. Because we know full well when it comes to ultimate team of the seasons, they've always been notoriously rubbish. Like, we get, what, five, six, seven week promos. And it's it's good for the Prem. I think it's good for the second, well, community. And it's good for the Prem. Decent for the third. You start getting a little bit bored. Serie A piques your interest a little bit because normally they up the ratings pretty tenfold. And then you get to the ultimate. And it's literally like they turn the weight off. And, and that is fair enough because they are the top of the top. I mean what's the point having a week of promo where we can't actually pack anybody other than literally one person so that's always been ultimate's problem it has always been terrible when it comes to pack weight so it could be well worth just taking the week off maybe, maybe doing a bit of fodder stuff because we're getting a lot of end of eras which will be nice but you can do them and just take the week off until the euros really apparently we're getting a separate mode which will be interesting and then obviously from there we'll get the actual euro promo and we can kind of replan from there which would be nice but in general when it comes to these sort of upgrades i probably wouldn't spend too much time on it i'd be more than likely doing player picks just trying to get as much fodder at least with the player picks you could get some of the others as well which would be nice and then you can obviously uh you can obviously just keep grinding through on the normal day-to-day -day upgrades that are a little bit more likely to get one so we will finish off after is that kimmich we are taking 88, so what, three 87s, an 88, a couple of 85s and 84s, that is going to be it. It's a little bit lackluster in Ganabri at the end. So what I'll do is we will go and do all of the upgrades to see if we can get anything in them. Um, obviously, when it comes to them, we can get all of the mixed and all of them. So that's going to be at least decent enough to be able to get some high rated fodder for your Tiago Silvers, your Santos, uh, your Andersons, and then your Cruises later on in the week. So I would probably say player picks probably be better. I just want to do one just to see a temp fate. Temp fate with me because I guarantee if we get a team of the season out of this, as you see, we have got a fair amount of walkouts still left over. That should be six. And then we can obviously go gold, bang, bang, and bang. So that should be enough. Just imagine. I can just see an Mbappe or, or a Frimpong. I would love a Frimpong more than anything. Yeah, maybe not. We got an 83. But at the very minimum, it's the same. So unless you are putting in more cards, that's fair enough. So we have got the 84 times 7. We can do three times. Do we need a team of the week for this? Oh, of course we do. We might just go buy one instead. But that's going to be everything. We might open up the live upgrade as well. I don't know if I've even got... a. Have I got a live team of the season? I don't even know what team of the seasons I've got nowadays. Where, where is, it, is it actually going to be an L as well? There it is. Have we got anybody? Oh, okay, we've got a few. Oh, uh, we'll go with you then. You know full well if I don't open this up before I've done the packs, I'm going to end up with a duplicate. Let's see what we get. Bruno would be nice. Bruno would be nice. Who the... Oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad I put him in, to be honest. Oh, I didn't even put him in. See, I told you I'd get a duplicate. They totally knew what they were doing. 32k for an inform. This better be a blue, but apparently it's not. So we're going to get... To Laporte, 84 times 7 and 85. Can the second one be worth it then? Come on, give me the blue. Oh, it's got to be third time lucky. It's going to be Modric again. At least he goes back into it, but higher rated, 87, 87, couple of 85s. Let's see what the final one does. Tempting fate. Come on. Oh, 
the way this one I mean like there's even Schlotterbeck I didn't even see him we have Schlotterbeck in this and I still can't get something we get Modric again this is just going to be the constant day isn't it so 87's on the board Kobel behind him oh and and Lair is that yeah 88 rated so we take the fodder purchase from it but in terms of the grind it's it's going to be very diminishing to be able to try and do a lot of this and it's going to be to be honest probably not worth it i think for these t these sort of players you're better off focusing on SBCs this week and then kind of grinding through because we're going to get them in like literally a month's time we'll have the unlimited player pick footies and uh, will just be next level euros apparently is going to be next level as well i wouldn't necessarily burst your bank trying to do all this i'd just focus on maybe finishing a lot of these sbcs you can kind of potentially try for a team of the season as you go through but it's not going to be the main objective otherwise you'll end up just putting in far too much fodder for literally no reason so i would focus mainly on the end of eras tiago silva was fantastic i must admit anderson weren't terrible either so they're going to be brilliant each day i can imagine and when it comes to the sbcs i'd probably go player picks you just want to be making sure that you're doing everything every day your daily goals your challenges your objectives your well the daily login sbc the daily play doing your rivals and champs if you really wanted to and just keep grinding that way it's going to be the best way utilizing the exchanges we've been doing every single week for the past like six weeks now it is just an easy grind to keep on going but I would probably go for the player picks rather than the double, just in my opinion. So let me know down below what you think. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Paces.